Welcome back, friends, and uh, here we go again with another book review. Dun, 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 dun. I hate how it shows it reversed, and I don't know how to change that. That's ridiculous. Anyway, this is a really a cool little book that I want to get into more and reread. I've had this book for many years, and I just couldn't get into it at the time. Uh, it's about the tree of life, and it's about path working. It's called The Shining Paths. And... Exper, an experiential journey through the tree of life. My God, I cannot read those words. I don't know why my eyes are failing me today. But it's by Dolores, Dolores, no, Dolores Ashcroft, no, Wiki. Let's go to the table of contents, take a quick look. Nice little picture here of, looks like uh, Archangel Michael with a sword. Cool. The Shining Paths, Dolores Ashcroft and Wiki, illustrations by Billy Walker John, Toth Publications, excellent. Uh, the reason I got this book is because, you know, when it comes to the Tree of Life or the Tree of Death, the Clip Path, all of those subjects, I wanted something that would just be very basic where... I could do a basic meditation and explore each sphere of the Tree of Life. And I dare say some of these exercises in here are pretty cool. So basically it just takes you through each one. And we'll go through a quick review of the first one. Malkuth to Yasad. Malkuth to Yasad. So basically the path from Malkuth to Yasad. It gives you all the activation words and angelic powers you'll be working with. The 32nd path. And an another cool uh, illustration here. Sandal Fun in the Temple of Malkuth. Really cool. Angel magic uh, path working. Basically what this is, is it's story. So what's Check out Malkuth to Hod, and I will read a passage from it so you understand uh, kind of how it works. If any of you are familiar with the game Dungeons and Dragons, the role-playing game, basically that's what we're talking about. We're basically talking about uh, reading. You're reading a story that puts images in your head that unlock magical gateways, so to speak. So. As deceptive as it may be, reading stories is actually a great way to uh, explore a path. If the 32nd path is one of self-discovery, the 31st, by contrast, is the discovery of one's relationship to others. And what this can teach us, each path can show us something new about ourselves. We may not always like it, but we will learn from it. Man is like a rough diamond when he starts in the journey, but each path will cut a new faucet in his stone. The effect of this is the physical world will act like a polishing agent until the whole diamond sparkles with light. That is a brilliant description of that path. So, since we're on the same subject, I want you guys to post... In your comment section of this video, what book do you recommend that I review for path workings of darkness? For example, the Clip Path, uh, the Tree of Death. I've looked for some and just can't seem to find anything that really explore the opposite realm of the tree. I do have a book by Michael Ford that tries to just, uh, you know, tries to put it into terms that are understandable. Um, I didn't find it to be all that inspiring other than that the artwork and stuff was cool but I may revisit it and a combination of this book and another couple of books I have to start doing path working so anyway I hope you enjoyed this book this book is uh, let me see how many pages we got here there are charts and stuff in the back Symbols associated, got an appendix. It's around 230 pages. 
and I don't know how much I paid for it. I want to say it was probably 12 to 15 bucks on Amazon. So I recommend it. This author is a very good author. She's very thorough. I like the way she writes because it's very easy to understand. Um, this publisher publishes some pretty cool books. If you can get your hands on them, I'm not sure if they're even still publishing books. So long story short, Dark Blessings. Sorry, I haven't been able to do very many in-depth videos lately, but I've got crazy stuff going on. I may be changing uh, to a different job situation, so I'm under a lot of pressure and uh, <laughs> just trying to hang in there, guys. But put those blessings of success upon me. Cast those spells upon me to help me get my job. Uh, help your black magic sorcerer out and send that great energy towards me. Help me succeed. I know that I'm going to, but it never hurts to have a little help from your friends in the magical community. Thank you, friends. Thank you for, for viewing, and thank you for your subscriptions. And by the way, thank you so much for the 400-plus subscribers we have now. I'm so excited that people are interested in this subject that I have dedicated my life so much to. So thank you so much, and we'll be back for more later.